Hi, I'm Lonnie Lobb, lead technician for Stolly Technologies. I'm going to give you a quick overview of the uh, Dell R710, uh, which is Dell's kind of go-to server in their 11th generation of servers here. The R710 is very versatile while also yielding very high performance if you need it to. This makes it a great candidate for either your basic everyday system or for a, a virtualization beast uh, to handle many, many VMs. Also, added in, Dell has some cool uh, systems management and energy efficiency technologies built into it now. Um, some of the energy efficiency technologies they've incorporated, um, there's energy efficient power supplies that they have paired right to the system specs, so you're not overkilling your, your wattage or your amp draw just because the power supplies that come with this are the only ones that, that you've got. You've got a, a selection of power supplies now. Um, they've also got an innovative uh, system level design that makes it much more efficient. Uh, Dell engineers uh, tested it against the HP DL380 and the DL380 ran about 17% hotter they said, um, which is still within Intel specs but Dell is way below that. Um, there's also some cool things, uh, policy driven uh, power and thermal management and uh, they've also incorporated many energy smart components into uh, this machine, so it's, it's a great, great machine. The processors that go in the R710 are the Intel Xeon 5500 series quad cores or the 5600 series six core CPUs. Uh, the RAM that goes in, we're using DDR3 now opposed to DDR2, uh, which was in the previous generation. We can go up to 192 gig of memory in 18 slots here, so that's uh, with 16 gig sticks we can go to 192 gigabytes. This uh, the DDR3 helps uh, higher bandwidth while also lowering uh, the required voltage per dim, which makes it, again, very energy efficient. There's also, Dell's incorporated a, uh, an embedded hypervisor uh, that would go uh, right here in the system. Um, this, it, you can add your, your virtual uh, host and include, uh, included in that you can do either Citrix Zen Server, uh, Server 08 uh, Hypervisor or the Hyper-V, and VMware's vSphere 4.1. Uh, all of those are included on an SD card that fits right in a little SD card reader right here. The hard drives that you can put in here, uh, there's two options in system chassis. There's the eight two and a half inch hard drives or six three and a half inch hard drives and you can get them in your desired flavors, SAS, SATA, or even uh, SAS SSDs or SATA SSDs. What, uh, what connects the drives to the system is gonna be the, the RAID card back here. Integrated uh, internal RAID slot on this system. There are uh, a whole gamut of RAID cards that you can select from. There's the SAS 6IR, the H200, the PERC 6i or the H700. If you're going to be running uh, 6 gigabit drives, you're going to want the H200 or the H700. Uh, those will allow the 6 gigabit uh, SAS or SATA drives to, to be right here, which again, it, for performance wise, this increases I.O. dramatically. It's really going to help out with that kind of stuff. But if you're just doing a basic system, just need you know a couple drives for an OS and then a storage for, for your server, you know, put a couple SAS drives to run everything from, and then you got SATA drives in storage right here, all in this one box. With the uh, internal storage slot, there's also an available four uh, PCIe slots to add fiber cards, NIC cards, um, anything that you'd want to add in there. There's the, the storage slot does not tie up one of these PCIe slots in the back. On board uh, NICs, there's four Broadcom 5709 uh, ports on there. So if you're doing virtualization, you've got four ports right out of the bag to tie into to whatever networks you'll need to for your VMs. Um, again, if, if you wanted to add some, there's plenty of spots to add those uh, add-in NICs as well. Um, the management features that Dell is offering, uh, just like previous generations, you can use Dell's Open Manage software, which you can manage either one server or an entire data center full of servers 
with that package. Very cool, very robust software. Um, they've also included uh, something called the Dell Lifecycle Controller, which is, uh, it provides storage on the, on the board itself to house uh, any tools that you might need for deployments, for updates during the, the lifespan of the, the unit, uh, anything like that. You can, you can store drivers for deployment, you can store updates for, for later. Um, it's, it's a very cool tool that Dell hasn't done a whole lot with yet, but they're really kind of bringing to the, the forefront to kind of leading their, their systems management. Um, also, as always, there's a, a new flavor of the DRAC uh, included with the R710. Uh, they've got the iDRAC Express, uh, which provides all your management features. Uh, if you want to add on and have a dedicated NIC for your DRAC, you can upgrade to the Enterprise. Also included with that Enterprise, you can decide to upgrade to a, a V-Flash chip, which provides extra storage just for use for utilities with the DRAC. And this is stuff that, that Dell's still kind of working on. They're, they're bringing more stuff out that's going to work in that slot, which is, is really cool to kind of see where they're going to be going with it. Um, so all this tied together, again, this is the, the Dell R710, which versatility and high performance are kind of what it's geared towards and uh, I hope you enjoy. Thanks.